Hello Taurus, how are you? Lovely to see you guys, so welcome, welcome to my intuitive energy channel. So I use tools but I go by energies from the universe, from my spirit guides and from the divine, okay. So let's get along with this Taurus and I'm going to put my glass on and see where we go with uh with this uh reading okay so let's have a look at this uh taurus taurus even <laughs> taurus uh hope you're all well uh so pulling in energies here for taurus uh what do we have energy wise from the universe from the divine okay um Okay, whatever I'm, whoever I'm reaching out to, just take what you uh, will from this and uh, whatever I'm trying to. What I get here energy-wise is uh, fertility and also motherhood. So there could be a pregnancy or there may be a pregnancy here. Um, could also be maternal feelings it could be your mother it could indicate your mother okay um, now around this I actually get anxiety anguish suffering at the ends of this relationship but there is light at the end of the tunnel okay there is light whatever energies they are so they're the first energies that i get there is light at the end of uh, end of the tunnel there may be someone who is pregnant here and they don't know what to do um and i get the anxiety card this also could be looking at your past you know your your past like a movie Get this could be a spirit guide here or a spirit from the past coming back to the future, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know what that that's what I get energy wise, what the spirit is saying here. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel, you know, don't be so anxious uh, here. I also get someone who's been through a very kind of difficult time. Uh, you know, you could have been left as a single parent. Um, I also get that you may be reflecting on this, how this has affected your life in general and your mindset, your, re your resilience, okay, your resilience. Um, So, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. What is Spirit trying to say? Well, we get a love card here. The Ace of Cups. There are people that love you. Uh, sorry about that noise, okay. And interrupted by messages coming through. <laughs> um, there, there are, um, and that could be relevant to the, the messages that are coming through is saying, you know, uh, maybe spirit saying, oh, spirit saying, that's me, that's me. And uh, you're not the only one that went through that kind of thing. I do get that you were very loved. You were very loved, okay. Um, you were very loved. You you also, somebody feels guilt. I'm, I'm thinking somebody feels guilt for, for blocking your progress. They feel, because, you know, when you are, like, maybe if you're one parent family and that you were left with the responsibility of this or whatever this was, um, they blocked you. This, this, I think they this, and this is something we don't like to talk about. You know, it's like it's shrouded in shame and guilt. 
you know, I, I gave up my life for you kind of thing. I get the world card. So this is going into the past, but I get the world card. The world card is, you know, you, you may have had the world at your feet, but this was all upside down when this happened, okay. Hmm. Why is Spirit telling me this? <laughs> Why is Spirit telling me this? They could actually be telling their story, actually. I might, I might actually get Spirit here telling me, but I need to tell you my story. I need to, I need you to tell, you know, I, I, what I've actually learned through this journey. Let me share this with you. So this could actually be Spirit that wants to share this with you. Um, nobody talks about this. It's it's like so. This I I don't know why spirit is telling me this, but it's like nobody talks about this. It's like it. You have to feel ashamed uh, for for a woman to to say, you know, you you actually this this ruined my life or this blocked my path here or but I didn't have the choice to walk away from this kind of thing. This may be you looking at your life like a movie. I didn't have a choice. I had to, you know, I I got it's like I got pregnant and I had to have this child. And then when I had this child, you you left and I was left with the responsibility. I had to be the father and mother to this child. This could be your mother actually making you feel ashamed. Somebody may be actually make, making you feel ashamed for who you are. Making you feel ashamed. Now, I am getting energies here. You may have been put up for adoption. You may have been put up for adoption uh, because uh, your mother um, was had a child out of wedlock, which is very shocking and uh, shameful back in that day. And that made made you feel like you should be ashamed for what your mother did. But I think, you know, why should, it's like I, you may have grown up to actually be made to feel ashamed of your mother's choices. You know, you're an orphan or you were given away or, uh, but I don't feel that was the truth because I get that you were loved absolutely loved and you were told a lie here you may have grown into old age to you know the beliefs here the belief systems of these people around you that uh, you know you're, you you should be ashamed to have a a, a mother like that you, you should be ashamed you know it's shameful what, what your mother did so but i i do get that th this this person this is quite sad. Uh, this person loved you, absolutely adored you. They, whatever this is, somebody felt absolutely sh ashamed. I feel, I feel ashamed because I, you know, it's like uh, whoever I'm reaching out to, I feel ashamed of this. You know, I. Yeah, somebody not wanting, like, uh, this is like the uh, family secret. Family secret. It's never talked about, swept under the carpet. We don't know who that person's father of the child is. Um, we, you know, that, that um, you know, blaming this mother is totally ashamed here. Had this cross to bear too, that's coming through. Had a cross to bear. Wow. Well, um what what is this? I don't know who I'm reaching out to here. This is this is something you, you're learning that the hardships that this person went through. This person never stopped loving you. I also get this person was totally heartbroken. 
totally heartbroken. Either this person or you, okay? Or you. Um, utterly heartbroken. And it was something that people just did not do. I got like, uh, you did, what you did was just, just what people, you know, people don't do. Um, why is, why is this? Some, somebody got away with something here, which made you a strong willed person, a very strong person. Some people may have called you a witch or evil for, for doing something when... Well, I'm reaching out to somebody who, who whose mother did this or they know this person kind of was tarnished by this. Reputation was tarnished. Well, it was either their reputation or the culprit's reputation, or we'd call it the culprit that did a, did a runner, um, but ne never admitted that I'm not the culprit. I didn't get that person pregnant. I, I have nothing to do with that. In fact, you know, it's not my fault, but, you know, she told me she was uh, protecting herself. Anyway, um, I don't know why Spirit's bringing this up. It may not be re relative to you, but it may be relative to somebody there because there's a message here to say this person loved you. Really, really loved you. Loved you more than you could ever know. Was heartbroken when this happened. Okay. So let's have a look. Anything else, Spirit, here? Anything else? Um... Any, anything else here? I feel it's time to to reestablish a connection with somebody you thought that, that should be ashamed of what they did. Because uh, some of you, not all of you, I feel for some of you, that person may have passed now into spirit. It's too late. You're saying, I, 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 I understand that now that I'm older, but that person has passed on. And if I'd have known at the time, that is one of my regrets, is what you're saying. Somebody's going to write a book here. Um, somebody may write about this. This may be part of a script. What, what is this spirit? What is this spirit? Somebody may be creating a something here, like a a Netflix series or a, a script or a book. Taurus, wow! This person is uh, this is going to be very successful. Uh, this is a this is a twist here that I thought this was about. I felt this was about somebody's life. I feel it may be so about somebody's life, but I also get it could be somebody's written a script here. Um, this this is going to with the fish card. Um, I get this could lead to financial abundance. Somebody telling their story. Um, but it's like the moon card. This was very shameful, and it was hidden. Because it was, it was shameful. You know, it's like this female. I get this female. I get like the 1940s or early 1950s. Um, this female being quite ashamed of, of, of their position. Now, this person could have been, this could have been forced upon them. Um, they may have had to, you know, all sorts of shameful things here uh, to go through. Um, kept it a secret. Kept the father a secret. This, this, this father could be a father. Could be the father of the mother.
shame. The shroud, sh it's shrouded in shame, all of this. But I did love you. I did love you. I know that I created these clouds here. I know that I created these this confusion of the sun and the and the and the grey clouds. I know this was confusing to you. I did love you. This person's an absolute snake. This person was, you know, that they needed help. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out to somebody who is going to, I feel, write some kind of script, write a book. Um, I do get like sun is shining here. Although this was a, a, an horrific situation, this person may have passed actually in spirit. This, this, this spirit may be sharing this with me. Uh, this was so embarrassing. It was so, I felt so ashamed. I felt dirty. I had to keep it a secret. I'm getting that too. It could be a grandmother. It could be one of your grandmothers. It could be an aunt. It could be uh, someone in your family. Maybe that's what's coming through here. Because I did pick up that I want to tell you my story. Wow, um, this story, somebody's going to write about this story. They may feel ashamed that they had to keep all of this secretive too. I feel ashamed because I didn't understand and, you know, I can't, you know, I should have protected you. Wow, um, I don't know what this means, Look, Taurus, you're an earth sign, I, if you've got earth in your chart even, this could be relative to you. Yeah, I did get the Queen of Pentacles, the, you know, is an issue, the earth sign. I don't feel you wanted to stir up any problems. You tried to keep things calm. You you didn't want to upset the apple cart, if you like, um, because I get the tower in reverse. You didn't want to cause the tower. You didn't want the destruction of this person. You didn't want the destruction of this family. You didn't want the destruction of your life. So you kept it all kind of under wraps here. You didn't want to cause any waves. For some of you, you want to get the bridge card. You want to build bridges and reconnect with this person. Some of you are thinking, I wish I could, that that person is in spirit. This has always been swept under the carpet. Now, the whip indicates abuse and the broom indicates sweeping it under the carpet like it never happened. You may have been the mistress. You may have been the mistress or this person was like a baby mama. You may be a baby mama. Um, this person was like their lover. This person... But I also, this also could be, this sounds crazy, this also could be incest, this could be, um, I was treated like a wife, I was treated like the other woman, I was actually the daughter, or something like that, okay, or something like that, I felt ashamed, I felt ashamed that I was replacing the mother here. I felt that this was a gift. 
not me personally this is the energies it could be spirit it could be somebody from spirit this is like a, a narrative that's coming through here that that um the shame this person carried um or it could be somebody in 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 life here If this is somebody in life, you've got two choices. You're at a crossroads. Uh, which door do I actually go through? Where do I go with this? For some of you, you could be having surgery. I get like the surgeon's knife. I, I'm getting a surgeon's scalpel, um, cutting, um, Oh, it may have left. It may have led to surgery. Um, wow. Um, I get this was totally unbearable. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm reaching out to, I could even be reaching out to somebody in spirit here. Um, this was totally unbearable. This person was two faced. They were wearing uh, two masks. They acted normal when they were not normal. They acted normal when they were abnormal. This person was not normal. I get this person was demonic. Oh my goodness. Look, Taurus, this seems very heavy, um, but this seems like it's a journey that's leading to a realization of I get like a storyteller but it's not a story spirit what are you trying to say here please uh what are you trying to say what spirit you're trying to say here I get a lady called Margaret I get a lady called Maureen, maybe in spirit. I know all about this. I get that too coming through. Could be spirit guides. I knew all about this, but I felt ashamed. This caused a big pause in your journey with this card here. Um, it's like it blocked you. I get like a block here. This blocked you. This this shame. Wow. I'm really sorry if this happened to you. And if this is you, I'm sorry this happened to you. Um, even if you're in spirit and you're trying to come through and say that blocked me all my life. spirit what what's what's saying it yeah i get you may have been labeled the witch here you're a witch don't believe anything that person says they're an absolute witch now people use words like that you know they're lying and i, I also get detoxification detoxing yourself Cleansing yourself, cleansing your inside, not just your outer shell. Detoxing from this, from this poison. Um, taking time out alone. I think you may have made a decision here to live in solitude because she, I, I feel this is like living in solitude but not actually... Not actually being alone, not feeling lonely, um, living in solitude, but actually liking that and liking that, and enjoying that. Um, because I get from spirit here, make peace with your past. Make peace with your past if you can't write about this. Maybe that's why you're taking time in solitude.
instead of feeling ashamed, it says here, well, Spirit is saying you should feel proud of yourself and feel loved because you were loved. Whatever this was, you know, you are loved. This person did love you. Whatever this is, this person loved you. Maybe hard to understand that. They may have loved you in their own kind of way, the only way they knew how to love. And it says here, if you wait and if you stand still, if you be still, if you be still, the animal, the enemy will eventually reveal itself, that demonic energy, that demonic enemy who is really at, at the cause and the root of this will be revealed. I get like this card here is um, culminating love, culminating love for yourself, culminating effervescence. It's like uh, cultivating your own love, cultivating your own friendship, cultivating your own family, cultivating your own uh, friends, your own soul sisters, your own soul soulmates cultivating that okay this is going to lead to your success believe it or not this torment this shame here the secret is going to lead to your success your opulence because I get here opulent card the opulent It's time to take the lead here. It's time to take the lead and honour yourself. This is this is a, a strange card. It's like got the face of the devil on on this, and it's like euphoria. And what I pick up with this card is that this person it made them feel very high. It made them feel good about themselves. A very, very demonic energy. Um, it made them feel euphoric. Why would that make them feel euphoric? Um, I, I'm really even. Not, I don't really know what this is, but uh, it's like they're this person really stole your energy and it's very kind of demonic kind of energy. It's like they stole your energy to feed their own empty, empty souls. And the next card I get here is Maximus. Maximus. There's an empty table here with no food on it at all. And, it's, and this says here at the bottom, how can you feed others when your own table is empty? How can you feed others when your own table is empty? Whatever that means to you. I guess it's true to this card here of, of cultivating love for yourself. Cultivating love for yourself. Wow! 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 This, this, this is this is this is uh, very spiritual. This energy, Taurus. Um, it could be generational, a generational curse. It could be shame that's been passed on through the generations in your family, and it's been passed on to your mother, your you know, from your great grandmother, grandmother, great. You know, um, it's shameful. We can't talk about it. It's shameful. You should be ashamed of this. You can't talk about this. Hmm, let's, uh, let's see. What are you trying to tell us here? 
It seems very deep. I feel like I've got a bunch of spirits here trying to queue up to tell me of their shame. Um, what are you trying to tell us here, spirit? Yeah, this is going to lead you to your stardom. You are going to, this is going to lead to your, your, it's like you have experienced or your family has experienced so much trauma or so much heartache that you can use this and take it and make it real. Make it real. It's like a healing, like a healing tool and help to help with it, like making, making like um, a script or a movie of look, look what can happen here. A truth teller instead of this being shrouded with shame let's let's make this transparent let's make this open and how people can suffer because they feel so much shame when in all honesty none of this was their fault This is a look. I get the four leaf clover, and the four leaf clover is this is lucky for whatever this is. This is leading to this could be, and I've had this before with other readings. This could be a generational something, you know, that the universe, um, spirit here, so enough is enough. You know, we've been through this through centuries of suffering. You're going to be the one that changes this. You're going to be the one because of what you've been put through, through all of this, by observing people around you or going through this uh, trauma yourself. It's going to lead you to success. You know, I feel you've been chosen, the person that's been chosen from spirit, from your blood ties, from your generational blood ties, you have been the one that's been chosen to change this. You're the one to change. What what a huge burden to put on your shoulders that you're the one to, to take this in into enough is enough. No more starvation, no more poverty, no more um, abuse, no more of this, no more of that. Let's Let's stop this now. Let's stop this now. So no more hiding that, you know, this person's got to feel so ashamed for something that was not their fault. What else have we got here, Spirit? What else have you got to... Yeah, again, I get this, This your head is going to be in the clouds here. You're going to be looking down at... Uh, it's like you're going to be an observer of... This is strange, isn't it? Like uh, you're on the periphery and looking in uh, like an observer. You're going to make really, you know, you're not going to get, it's not an overnight thing. This is this is 10 lifetimes before you, a culmination of, of 10 lifetimes before you to, to come to this point to actually get the success, you know? Um, so get tiny triumph. Tiny triumphs, and um, you do need to let go of something here. That this, this, uh, the laureate, she's holding on to the rope of this boat when she needs to let go and let this sail away. You need to let go of something, you need to let go of the shame. You need to let go of the shame. I get the perfect key, and the perfect key is. This opportunity, which key do I choose here to open up this heart here? For, uh, this is, keys are always uh, significant to opportunity, the perfect key you've chosen, the perfect key. Your home may be floating in the sky. You don't know where your roots are. 
it feels like you're just floating around but in all, in all honesty it feels like you're floating around and you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring or uh but it feels like this is all part of the plan it's all part of the plan it's floating around um Free spirit, I get like a, a creative free spirit floating around, not really, not not really, I guess spirit is saying you don't need to be stuck in one place because you have so much to explore. Oh, it's all a bit crazy, this. Anyway, let's finish. I'm going to finish this off because I, what's, what's spirit trying to say here? I get the devil card. Well, the devil card is, you know, this was this was demonic. This person was the devil, and it's like uh, obliterating and cutting off this curse. The curse here, like I get. the end of a fa an infatuation maybe this person was crazy crazily infatuated with you maybe this person was jealous of you maybe this person caused much confusion maybe this person instilled jealousy in you maybe this person triggered your insecurities but did this deliberately you know it was like a, a game to them to get you to actually dance to their tune. They may have done it from a small child. You're uncertain how to relate to people. But there's this wild kind of spirit within you. I also get no more delays, no more delays. It's ending this, 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 whatever this is, it's ending this now. And there is a sense of loss because I feel that you may have to let this part of your life go. You may have to say, um, you know, you may be the one that breaks this generational curse. But people around you will not like that. They'll not like it when you say, uh, you know, why is there so much shame and, and, and why does why does that person why was that person tarnished when it wasn't even their fault? Uh, why did why did that why did that happen? Why did this happen? And people just don't want to face reality and um, and you know the the dirty kind of secrets. How we don't talk about that. Why do you want to talk about that? We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. You know, you may have been made to look the fool. You know, the, the fool here. So, because you're truly being gaslighted constantly, it's like, well, I can see with my own eyes what's happened here. Um Where's the answers to this? I just want, and I get like, um, you know, there is this sense of loss because you're made to look like an idiot and a fool just for wanting the truth um, here. So I feel in August there is like a beginning here of um, – you looking at yourself here, you know, you're not you're not at the bottom of the pile. You're not at the bottom of the pile. You're going to realise you don't get anywhere unless you speak up. You don't get anywhere unless you actually, you know, uh, sit down, uh, do some thinking and, and, and pulling yourself out of this kind of poison. I get the queen bee here. 
Well, this could be who who on earth was the queen bee that that enabled this? Who was this person? But there are some good memories here, treasured memories. There are some treasured memories around the queen bee. Not all bad. But you're deciding to let this go. You say, well, you know, I do have good memories and I'm not blaming you for everything here. But I need to go in my own direction here. A new direction. I have to go and figure this out for myself. And I need to leave this protective nest here, this safety net, this protective nest here where the queen bee is all, it's all relative. Um, I need to, with the red garden, I need to pour love into myself with the red garden and, you know, nurture that beauty within. Experiences too with love and relationships may be entering your mind too. You may be experiencing, uh, what is this? It may be that, well, I was seduced. I was seduced, the art of seduction here. I was seduced into this. I'm going to leave it there. I don't know. Whatever the message you feel here for us is trying to tell you for August. Take what, what it's trying to tell you. Spirit, and I, get, I just get a bunch of spirits here coming through, trying to convey, <laughs> trying to help you learn this lesson, trying to help you on your journey. I'm going to leave it there, okay? I'm going to say thank you for, for watching. Please like, share, and put your comments in the comments section, how you feel this is relatable to you. Um, be interesting to know. <laughs> but I do get, it's not all, you know, this is like a generational curse kind of energy. And you starting to break out of this in August. And this is going to take you towards success. It's like changing to a generational change here. No more poverty, no more shame, none of this anymore. I'm not saying that money, uh, or I don't, it's not just money, it's abundance, it's love, isn't it? It's love, it's not about money. But I do get like monetary gain here, but this is more about loving yourself. It's more spiritual than money and I'm going to leave it there okay take care everyone lots of love and bye for now Taurus